Hey, I'm here again with Carl Bloss from Consumers Energy. We're at the Grand Rapids International Auto Show, but Carl just got back from California to see the Aptera Solar Powered Electric Car. Many of you, like me and Carl, follow that car closely. So let's find out what he saw. You know, Carl, first of all, what were you doing there? Why did you go to Aptera? Yeah, so the Electric Vehicle Association uh, had their annual meeting there, and they invited me to come out because I did get an award of the EV Advocate of the Year, so I really appreciate that. Uh, but also, when I saw that it was at Aptera headquarters, I'm like, I can't not go, because <laughs> full disclosure, I am a reservation holder and I'm an investor, so I'm super geeked about all of the efficiency and everything that Aptera represents. So you've gotten to see the factory then? I assume you saw all the prototypes, the Alpha, Beta, and the Gamma? So I did see the, I did see the three Alpha prototypes. They had them lined up front, so as soon as we pulled in, we saw those and it was like, oh, right? So there they are in the flesh or in the, in the bink. Um, and then they were giving test rides on for the, the Gamma later, but we also did get to see the inside. Now, obviously, since they're not in production, we didn't see a lot of activity. Uh, they did give us a tour, uh, but it was kind of showing off some of the technology, the, the solar, uh, the solar cells, the really lightweight glass that they're using to encompass those. Um, the, the batteries, which you know they're getting off the shelf. I'm sure you've all seen the uh, the announcements. You know where they're getting theirs, uh, where they're getting their battery packs. Uh, but they did show us like how that was going to work, the different size of the cells for the different mm -hmm. models. So it looks to me like they're they're on a good way. Now, if you look at the factory, you don't see a lot. But again, I'm not a manufacturing engineer, so I wouldn't really know what to expect. Uh, so, you know, you know, you're not going to start to see robots welding yeah. or gluing or anything like that. Well, they do have the robots there, yeah. though. They're at the factory, yeah. but so they're going to come from Italy, as I understand, almost complete, like a rolling chassis. Yeah. So then they're going to hit these robots, go around and be assembled the rest of the components. Right. Is what, do I understand it? And, and you do see the blue line on the floor, oh, okay. where okay. that's kind of the, the future assembly yeah. line, where that's yeah. going to go. Now you did something that we haven't done, and we'll link to a video at the end of this of you riding in the Gamma. Yeah. So tell the audience, because most of them have not ridden in any three-wheel vehicle, let alone the Aptera. We've ridden in the Alpha, but we haven't ridden in the Gamma. Yeah. Did it feel like a car to you, Carl? Absolutely. Did it feel like a kit? Yeah. Did it feel comfortable, stable in the corners? Give us your overall impression uh, of the actual ride in the comfort in the Gamma vehicle. Yeah, so first of all, it really just was in the parking lot um, and we were riding, not driving ourselves, but it was the Gamma. Um, I was super impressed with the stability. So Chris, not the CEO, Chris. McCammon, Chris McCammon. Chris yeah. McCammon uh, was, giving, was giving the rides and he was squealing it around the corners. So you, you were hearing tires squeak and it, I didn't feel any roll. He was even trying to explain to me in the, what, 40 seconds that I was in the vehicle, because he had so many people churning through that, you know, because of the way that the rear suspension works, it really feels like a four-wheeler, but, uh, you know, you have all of the efficiency associated with a three-wheeler. What about the comfort, like, uh, just in general, the seats, the headroom? Did yeah. you feel cramped in that thing? It didn't feel room? cramped because, you know, it's kind of, um, it bellowed out a little yeah, bit, right? right? So you got a lot of arm room. Um, I've sat in, a, in an early Chevy Bolt EV and you kind of feel like you're a little cramped. It doesn't feel like that. Oh, the one thing I did notice is you're a little bit more reclined. Now, I don't know if that's just the way that the seats were adjusted. I didn't have time to play with that. Mm -hmm. But I kind of felt like I was getting in my old Porsche 944 where you have like <laughs> legs first, <laughs> right. right? Like you're getting into a sports car. Steering wheel right here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, he had the, the yoke in front of him. Yeah, and they did have cool. the two screens. So we got to see the Gamma later oh, afterwards. Good where it was kind of showing you where the, getting the image from the cameras, oh, from, nice. the, from the, the side, the outside mirrors, but they have cameras there, which is nice. kind of the direction they want to go to if yeah. they can get rid of the mirrors to have less drag. Yeah, yeah. yeah mirrors are old technology on cars, outside mirrors, and they, all they are is wind drag when they can much more efficiently be handled via camera, but getting these things changed, that's yeah. an act of Congress just about. Yeah. Now, since we were just in the parking lot, we didn't get a, a ride on a, fast road where you could hear the wind noise. That was something I was oh, interested yeah. in. Like, okay. do those prototypes have any kind of sound shielding? Right. Um, I mean, I know because it's so efficient with the drag that mm -hmm. you're going to get probably more laminar flow, mm -hmm. meaning that you should have less road noise. And I think I've heard them mention that in some of their prototype drive videos. But unfortunately, we didn't go fast enough to really experience yeah, when that. When we drove in the yeah. Alpha, there were so many other creeks 
that went along with it being a hand-built car, yeah. we wouldn't have noticed wind noise. That would have been the last thing we were thinking about, you know, so yeah. that's a good question. We'll find yeah. out. If you've driven into Gamma on an open road, like maybe Dave Huerta, I know you have, can you remind us in the comments, did you notice a lot of wind noise? You know who else did? Uh, Jerry Monar, I know you did. Did you notice a lot of wind noise? Please remind us in the comments, we appreciate that. What other takeaways did you get from your visit? Did you get to meet any of the team? Did you learn anything about uh, them? And did it build any confidence in you, learning about the accelerator program being closed? How do you feel about the trajectory? Yeah. So it was a Saturday, so you know they're going to have a skeleton staff. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they're slave driving their people to work on weekends yet. So we got to see uh, Chris, Chris and Audra. Oh, good. Um, good. So, but you know, we didn't see a lot of activity that way. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe the one thing that gives me a lot of confidence is the positivity of the crowd. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a lot of people were there for the EBA meeting, but there were a lot of people who were the Aptera fans and were like, yeah, tell us more, man, when can I get my car? And yeah, I'm an accelerator, I'm an accelerator, I'm an investor. Wow. So a lot of people there that really want to see this thing succeed. And, and that to me, I think if there's enough there and obviously the funding, which now, as we know, the accelerator program is, is closed. closed. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'd love to see kind of the next monthly updates, like what are you doing with that money? Yeah. Um, but so far, I feel pretty good about it. So if we get enough people there, and maybe we get some angel investors and mm -hmm. that are you know, riding this groundswell, um, I could see them doing really well. So good. that to me, I think the whole, the vibe of the, of the crowd, and obviously Chris, you know, he's going to tell us kind of what we've already been hearing. This is how it works, and this is, he also had to give a really basic overview of the Aptera because there were some folks that didn't know what it was all about. Wow. So it's yeah. amazing to me that some yeah. folks that are in the EV world because of the show you were was the what's it called the Electric Vehicle Society yeah. Yeah. that they would not have heard of Aptera. That that well, tells me there's work to do yeah. for the thousand so ambassadors out there. So I think we should get, get some there. prototypes and drive them around West Michigan. Two Michigan people here. Yeah. Can take now care we're of that. talking. We're going to so take it to the beach. You know our email. Go ahead and yeah. send us the details. We'll come pick it up. That's right. Thank you, Carl. All so right. good to see you yeah. again. We appreciate you sharing your insights from Aptera. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for watching Drive Lightning, the Positively Charged EV channel.